Today we are trying to win the game with 99 mountains and a monkey. Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and yes, this deck plays only a single spell. Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, a 1 mana 2 one that, when it deals combat damage to a player, creates a treasure token and exiles the top cards of that player's library. Until end of turn, you may cast that card and you can even dash it in for 2 mana. Yep. I know, Savannah Lines was a rare. While it's not legal in Historic, we can play it as our commander in Historic Brawl. And since we always want to cast it on turn 1, let's make sure we always have a land on turn 1. Perfect. Let's play 100 games and see how many we can win. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess this hand is a keep. Oh right, the ad read. If you want your own Ragavan or anything else magic related, cardkingdom.com is your place to be. Check them out, link is in the description. Play a mountain, here comes the monkey. Let's hope they don't have any turn one plays. Forest, passes back, <laughs> here we go. Play a mountain, swing in with Ragavan, create a treasure exile at the top card of the library. Prosperous innkeeper, well, play it. When it enters the battlefield, we create a treasure. Up to a good start. Let's hope they don't play a blocker here. Arcane Signet, perfect. Play a mountain, swing in, exile, a land. Well, that is certainly a thing that could happen a lot. And now they can just play their commander and block the monkey forever. Heliot? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it looks like we're holding up removal. Little do they know, it's all mountains in our deck. Let's check out what's in theirs. Another land. Brutal. Let's set a stop in their main phases, so it looks like we're keeping up interaction. Oh, yeah. They could have just played their commander to lock us out, but I guess we have one chance to hit left. Dash in Ragavan, so it enters the battlefield with haste and it returns to our hand at the end of turn. Here's our last chance. Swing in. Oh, I mean, I knew what I got myself into when I built this deck. They play a land, scavenging ooze. They have a creature to grow it in their graveyard, and we can't beat a 3 3, so. Yeah, that's GG. Oh no, we on the draw. Man, this is gonna be a rough video to make. No one drop at least. Mountain, monkey, pass. That's a stomp. Yeah, I mean, if they just play the Bone Crusher Giant here, we are locked out of the game. Oh god, my opponent will think I'm the saltiest player in the world. Ragavan is the commander and scooping to any interaction, but we literally can't beat this, so. <laughs> Uh, GG. On the draw again. Yikes. No one drop though. Mountain. Monkey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Island. Chromatic star. Mountain. Pass. Planes. Pass. Mountain. Monkey. Cracks the star to draw a card. All right. Please don't play your commander, I guess. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Okay, this is not working. We gotta turn up the heat. Let's take the most threatening looking mountains in our collection and try to instill fear in our opponents, I guess. Oh, now we're talking. These lands look metal as hell. Let's see what our opponent thinks about them. Thought sees? Well, sure. Take a non land card from our hand. Now they know what we're up to, though. Let's hope they can't remove the monkey at least. Wall of Blossoms. Unbeatable. <laughs> oh, finally, we are on the play again. Mountain, monkey, pass. Opponent. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. The classic turn one salt scoop. Does that count as winning the game? Because if it does, <laughs> I got more where that came from. Okay, for real now, let's try to win an actual game here. Play a mountain and a monkey. Island and nothing. <laughs> Are we actually gonna get a hit in here? Oh, never mind, it's a land. <laughs> let's hope they just play their commander here. There it is. Rovan Scholar of Sparks cheapens their spells and has a scary emblem, but at least we get another hit in. Swing in with a monkey. Ooh, a Narset. No need in activating it, but at least it might annoy our opponent. Plus is Rovan to deal one damage to our face. Rubble reading? Destroy target lands? Are they land destruction? I hate to break it to them, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna run out of lands. Send in the monkey. Let's get something good here. Stone rain? Destroy target land? Well, I hope they like a taste of their own medicine. Oh, yeah, turns out uh, they don't. And that's the problem with this deck. Not only does it have no chance against any creature with three or more toughness, meaning that most decks can just play their commander or any random creature to beat it, and even if you get away with a couple of monkey hits, 
they're just gonna get salty and concede the game before we ever get to kill them. After 100 games, I ended up with a 21% win rate, which is abysmal for any other deck. But that actually means that I won every fifth game by our opponent salt scooping against a deck that is 99% basic mountains. Bonus game! Bonus game? But we didn't even see a real game this entire video. Mountain, monkey, pass. They play a land, pass back. Oh, we're gonna get a hit in. Please be good. Ether tunnel? No way. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus zero and can't be blocked. Oh my god, this might be the game right here. Planner disruption. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. Yeah, I think I go back to playing spells in my deck. Wanna see more of my content? Well, check out last episode where we kill the opponent with our hand size. This video and more all in this playlist. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.